here we are today in London and uh, about to have a, a brief chat with Rocky Burnett, who we've managed to catch up with in the middle of a British tour. Rocky, welcome to Countdown. Oh, thank you, Cherry. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Glad to be in London. Can't wait to get to Australia. Oh, that'd be really nice. Yeah, it and would. Congratulations for the success you're having with your single in Australia. Well, thank you. It couldn't happen to a nicer person. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's uh, taken from your album, Son of Rock and Roll, mm -hmm. the uh, Turn the Line single. Uh, and you wrote it yourself? Yes, we, I, I wrote, uh, there's 12 songs on the album. I, I wrote 11 of them, and my father, Johnny Burnett, wrote one of them. So uh, uh, I keep writing them and singing them, and uh, hopefully uh, we keep selling them. Right, your father was um, a pretty amazing man. Yeah, he was. He was one of the earliest of the rock and rollers. He started singing rock and roll back in 1952, and... Uh, uh, toward the late 50s, early 60s, he made a couple of trips over to Australia with his pop hits, You're 16 and Dreamin' and uh, Little Boy Sad and Cincinnati Fireball. Is that why you call the album Son of Rock and Roll? Yeah, well, you know, uh, when I grew up, uh, people like Gene Vincent and Eddie Cochran uh, lived with us. So uh, uh, I have the pedigree of rock and roll, so I call myself the Son of Rock and Roll, the mighty rock man Son of Rock and Roll. Did you really have any choice except to pick up a guitar and play rock and roll? I, I really didn't. If I had to fix a flat tire or a carburetor, I might as well mortgage my shorts, stick a fork in my rump, because I'd be done. Um, your father's credited with uh, having originated uh, the rockabilly sound. How much has that style of music influenced your own? Uh, I think a lot, a lot. Uh, uh, Elvis and Gene Vincent and Johnny and Dorsey Burnett and the Rock and Roll Trio were the first rock and rollers. That's white rock and rollers. Joe Turner was doing it 10 years before that. I mean, they were the first ones given credit for it in my country because they were white and the mass audiences were listening by them. But Joe Turner would have to be given uh, credit for the earliest of rock and roll. Uh, rockabilly uh, uh, music was uh, a mixture of that old uh, country music from Hank Williams and the Joe Turner rhythm and blues rock and roll sound. What do you think of the, the current music scene in America where the old established bands tend to still dominate the charts? Well, I think that uh, if you're fortunate enough to have people listen to your music, as long as you can stay up there, I believe you should, you should hold the reins. As far as I'm concerned, McCartney still is as young and as innovative as he was when he first started. So he's always stayed one of my favorites. Uh, in the States, uh, we still have a lot of great bands that are still making great music. And I think they can, as long as they can keep up the standards and quality of their music and do something a little bit different each time they come out, then uh, um, I, I'm all for them having as long a success as they possibly can. Any chance you might get down and boogie down under? Ooh, I love the way you say down under. Uh, uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to getting down under ever since my dad brought back all the pictures of the beaches and all the pictures of the uh, the miles and miles and miles of nothing but miles and miles. And uh, that's the kind of land I love. And uh, hopefully real soon. If, if I could, I'd leave them all. Well, th thank you for appearing on Canada. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is Cherry Ripe your real name? My parents had a sense of humor. Ah, I love it. Oh, oh, oh.